Ukraine's surprise attack on Russia has led to the evacuation of tens of thousands of Russians, raised questions about border security, and threatened to shift the course of the two-and-a-half-year war. Reuters pieced together a timeline of the first two days of the incursion. Based on public statements, social media posts, and analysis of video footage. In the hours before Ukrainian soldiers stormed across Russia's western border on August 6th, there was no sign from Moscow that anything was off. Russian Defense Ministry footage released that day shows General Valery Gerasimov paying a visit to a combat zone in Ukraine. He commands Russia's war effort. The video did not specify the exact timing of the visit, but there's no hint of concern about events unfolding in Russia's western Kursk region. This Ukrainian video purports to show the start of a sudden attack at a border point near the Russian town of Suja. Armored vehicles storm in. These are so-called dragon's teeth, part of border fortifications in Kursk that Russian media outlets said cost nearly $170 million. According to a post last year from an organization created by Ukrainian Special Operations Forces, nearly all of the Kursk border strongholds had been deserted. The Post cited corruption as a factor. Regular Russian troops, FSB border forces and the National Guard all share responsibility for defending the border. Brady Afrik is a U.S. analyst that maps Russian defenses. In Kursk region, Russian fortifications in this area tended to have fewer anti-vehicle ditches, fewer obstacles and fewer fighting positions when compared to positions in occupied southern Ukraine. It was likely easier for Ukrainian forces to progress around and through Russia's fortifications in the region, especially if they were manned by fewer or poorly trained personnel. In Russia, panic is spreading. Videos obtained by Reuters show fighter jets flying overhead near Suja. In town, a man films damage to buildings. Alexei Smirnov is the acting regional governor in Kursk and has been in the job for only a few months. On social media, he tells people to take shelter and issues missile warnings. On a community channel, one commenter asks, where are the shelters in Suja? Reuters made multiple attempts to contact residents through social media, but they were ignored or blocked. For the first day of the incursion, Russian President Vladimir Putin remained silent. The first public remarks on Kursk came the next day, August 7th. Putin called it a large-scale provocation from Kyiv. Military chief Gerasimov says Russian forces, quote, stopped a force of up to 1,000 Ukrainian soldiers. Although one analyst told Reuters it's possible he may have been under pressure to deliver good news to Putin on TV, or may have been given poor information himself. For his part, acting Governor Smirnov issued false reassurances, saying Russian soldiers and FSB border guards prevented a border breach. Those statements would quickly be disproved by events on the ground. Ukraine has not said much about the planning of the attack. The Russian Defense Ministry did not reply to requests for comment. And Ukraine's armed forces declined to comment about ongoing operations. Kyiv has said its aim is to carve out a buffer zone and wear down Russia's war machine. President Volodymyr Zelensky acknowledged fighting in Kursk for the first time on August 10th, characterizing it as restoring justice and ensuring necessary pressure on its aggressor. Ukraine says it has seized over 90 settlements in an area covering nearly 500 square miles. Although Ukrainian forces are on the defensive elsewhere, upping the ante of the high-stakes gamble in Kursk.